Hey guys, this is Tina back in for a quick video. One of my followers had requested that I talk about this particular case. It is about Jennifer Harris, who went missing on <clears throat> May 12th of 2002. So what happened was Jennifer was at a friend's house and then around 8 p.m. she had told her friend that she had to go. She had also told a couple of people that she was pregnant at that time, but did not disclose any information about who the father was. So the case has gone unsolved and it's been really hard for me to get this story going because of the fact that it's unsolved. And I don't wanna make any accusations. I'm just gonna tell you what I've read about it. So she came up missing on May 12th of 2002 and then six days later, her body was found in a river in Texas. And so her body had been so decomposed that they were unable to determine the cause of death. Interesting enough though, as I read through an article, it had said that um, her, cause I thought, okay, well, check the fetus or the womb. I mean, doesn't mean that the person that got her pregnant would be the killer, but it's a start, right? but apparently when they found her, her womb was gone. So she didn't have her womb. So there were a couple of men that she had been seeing. One was her ex-boyfriend, another one was her ex-husband. The ex-boyfriend had a alibi that checked out and you know was very um, absolute about not, not knowing anything about the murder or anything to do with her. What was suspicious, though, however, was her ex-husband. He said he was worried because he didn't have an alibi for that night because no one could see. He said he was going he was going to drink beers at a friend's house, but his friends weren't there, so he ended up drinking and, and driving around for five hours. Now, in the article that I'm reading, it says that he saw Jennifer's Jeep but didn't know it was her, but that her vehicle but to me sounds a little suspect because you've been seeing this woman off and on and still admittedly like sleeping with her and if i saw anyone's car or someone that you know you you think you would recognize that anyway there's a new sheriff that had gotten into town in 2017 and decided to reopen the case however until this still to this day this uh, murder is unsolved I'm doing this for the follower that requested that I do the video. I really do hope they find out who did kill Jennifer Harris. She was only 28 years old. She had her whole life ahead of her and it was taken in a heinous way. And the fact that her womb was missing to me is very suspicious. So the sheriff that uh, in 2017 took that took over the case Daryl Parker, was a, he was a former sheriff, lieutenant, and a Marine, is now a private investigator that's also working on the case. So there's the sheriff that vowed to the father that he was going to, you know, when he was running for sheriff, that he was going to solve her murder. But her murder has not been solved due to the fact that the evidence that they had um, had been destroyed by water. And so any evidence that they had to try to solve this murder uh, had been destroyed um, and mishandled, according to the sheriff that promised the father that he was going to go ahead and really dig deeply into this story. So this this sheriff's name was um, it was a Fannin County, in Texas, um, Mark Johnson, Sheriff Mark Johnson. So this was 2017. Still to this day, I don't know if they have uh, any new information. I'm not finding any new information. I do see like there's um, little glitches in both alibis that I've read about. So, you know, that doesn't mean, like I said, just because she was pregnant and that doesn't mean the person murdered her, but the fact that her womb was missing, that's a little scary, right? Because unless like, cause she was in water for six days, you know, I know parts of the body can separate in water so it was it was just so decomposed that they were not able to like determine the cause of death i just find it really interesting that her womb was missing so you know i wish we knew more about it or who she you know because she said she was just her ex and her ex-boyfriend and then 
her um, ex-husband, and there was another person named Rob that was cleared. I believe he was cleared as well. So this is just a really um, frustrating case. I see why the follower requested me to do this story. Um, I have been really hesitant because it's hard for me to do stories that aren't solved. It leaves you with just this huge question mark, like what really happened to this poor girl? Like she had her whole life ahead of her and it's just unfortunate. So um, I hope this helps um, that I'm getting the story out. I don't get as many views as I think they might make a documentary about this. I hope they do and they do find her murderer. Okay, guys, thank you very much for tuning in and please follow, like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video, okay? Take care of yourselves.